Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by ComputerGuardGuard.com and in this video we look at how we can automatically change the colour of the task bars in our Gantt chart dependent on some kind of information and in this example I would like to change the colour of all of the task bars in this Gantt chart dependent on the resource group that has been assigned to a task. Now before we get going on that, just to quickly clarify we're happy with the resource group. If I switch to my resource sheet view, I can see that I have a list of resources set up and I've assigned a group to some of those resources. So two individuals work on team one, another two work on team two. This group can be anything you want it to be. You can name it engineers, you know, expenses, contractor, however you wish. I have these two groups and I've also gone to the extent of inserting the resource group column into this table. Which is not necessary for this to work. It is only there so we can see the correct colours being applied when, uh, when it was all said and done. And the first thing we are going to need to do to get this going is create two custom fields. I need two flag fields. Now I'm going to go to the format tab. So from your Gantt chart, we'll go to the format tab. Important you're on the Gantt chart, so on the correct tab. And we're going for the custom fields button. So if you've not done this before, you can create loads of custom fields in a project for anything that the project doesn't currently cater for you can create your own fields and this immediately comes up with these text fields I'm going for this drop down list in the top right hand corner to choose flag and I've got the first flag field selected here which I'm going to click this rename button and I'm going to rename it team 1 and click OK then I'm going to select the second flag field and I'll rename that Team 2. So I'm creating two flag fields, uh, one for each team. And what these flag fields are going to do is flag fields just display yes or no. That's all they do. And I want a flag field to be able to display yes if a individual from Team 1 is assigned to that task and no if they're not. And then on the flag 2 field, the team 2 field, I want it to say yes if they're from team 2 and no if they're not. Because then we can create bar styles based on the information in the flag. Now, this is where all the power is coming from really. We need these flag fields to automatically pick up you know, uh, what team member is, is based on the task. So for this, I'm going to select team 1. To begin with, flag one, and I'm going to click the formula button to write a formula to automatically change that to yes if a member of team one is on that task. So I'm going to choose this field button in this formula. I need to get the resource group field because that's what is storing this information. That I believe is a text field and resource group. See, there's loads of fields in here. Resource group. You could just type that if you're happy with the, uh, the anatomy of how to type a field. Equals, and then in speech marks, in his double inverted commas, I'm going to write team 1. Just a piece of text, I need to enclose it in his speech marks. Do the contents of resource group mention team 1? I'll click OK. I'll get a message saying, oh, you know, any existing data might be lost. You're now using a formula to calculate the answer. So, yeah, I know. I wrote it. Uh, I'll click OK. I'll select flag 2. Formula. Let's get resource group in there. It's probably quicker to select it than type it. Even if you didn't know what you were doing. Just about. Team 2. Does resource group equal team 2? Click OK. OK to the warning and OK to save and close the custom fields dialog box. Now I'm going to 
insert a couple of commons here, uh, columns here. I'm going to right click on the resource names column header. I'm going to insert column. And I'm going to look for these flag fields. Team 1 and Team 2. We do not need these on the table for this functionality to work. This is merely to demonstrate that they are automatically coming up correctly. So I can see that that is coming up. Get approvals is Team 1. Select Architect is Team 2. And if I widen this, we can see the resource group. So the flag fields are correctly, you know, adapting depending on what's in there. They're displaying the correct information. I can now really just select them two columns and hide them. They really don't need to be there. It was only to show that they are working, to test that they are working. Let's close it back up. So now our next step is to change the colour of the bars depending on the information in them flags. So for this, we are going for the Format tab. I'm already on it. The Format button and Bar Styles. So if you've not been here before, this is mega. This is where we can change the colour of, normally more importantly, change what information is displayed next to any type of bar in a Gantt chart. So we can see task, critical, milestone, summary, split, they're all in here. I'm going to scroll to the bottom of this list and we're going to create a new bar style, one for each team. So first, name of bar style, team one. Appearance, show for what tasks. I'm going to use this drop down list and choose flag one. Flag one is what I've used for team one. So I'm saying, you know, use this bar style for the first flag. If it says yes, use this bar style. It's currently this black colour. I'm going to change the colour in this middle section at the bottom here to the colour of my choice. And I'm going to ask it to display green. I will change the pattern to a more solid colour as well. Display green if they're from team one. If flag one says yes. And then I'll repeat myself for team two. Team two for used for flag two. Now this is a lot more in here than just this. Colour. I'm going for a purple colour. And that more solid feel. Big fan of the solid feel. And that should be that done. Team 1 are in green, Team 2 are in purple. If I click OK, they immediately change on the bar chart. On the Gantt chart, sorry, I can't call it a bar chart. What am I doing? But more importantly, if I can scroll to a bit of vacant space, let's assign a resource to a task. Where's Cherie from? Team 1, expecting a green colour. Cherie. It's green. So our task bars now are automatically changing colour depending on the resource group. You can use this same technique for changing colour of bars for anything you wish. You can change the colour of the bar if the task is running behind schedule. You, know, you can make it dependent on location, dependent on resource. Um, there's so much you could do you know, if it's got a deadline, if it's missing the deadline. It's all about setting up them flag fields and the formula. And then you just create the bar styles off the back of that. But really it's all about them flag fields. So I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please put it to good use. Any problems, check us out at computergargard.com and comment on our blog post for this. And please check out some of the other tips and tricks we have there uh, while you're visiting.